So I just arrived to Gran Canaria that is part of the Canary Islands in Spain and even though it's geographically closer to Africa this is still part of Europe and that's why I think a lot of nomads and remote workers like to stay here because you get to get all this island lifestyle and still feel the European culture and this time I'm staying in a co-living run by the organization called Repeople they've been designing a whole ecosystem for remote workers for more than five years in the Canary Islands So you're Dora the manager of the community manager community. basically re people has four active houses at the moment uh, we have the mozart house the founders house uh, the roof and the mansion where we are right now everyone is like five minutes away from each other it's super easy to to go out for a drink or just go to the beach and chill together and the coolest thing is that i have a view from the outside you know straight trade coming here get to know other nomads that's pretty cool so i'm excited to check the whole place Okay, so the main public transportation is the buses and in the Canary Island they call them the Wawa and I got a card, just got it from the store so every ride costs like one euro to take anywhere you want to go in the city so it's pretty, pretty easy to take So far, it's just, it's just nice to walk around and get the vibe, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting city so tonight I'm meeting with the other colivers and as we are in Spain, there's nothing better than to eat some tapas. It's a really serious tapas situation. What is that? Real mushroom. Let's try. I tried a little bit of everything and it was so good. My favorite was the mushroom filled with chicken. Yeah. 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 Cheers. 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 With the bottom. <laughs> So one of the places you're gonna spend most of your time is Las Canteras Beach. It's this long, long, long strip of beach and city. There's so many restaurants, coffee shops, a library, gym, mall, and even a cool auditorium. This is what I'm telling you, this island vibe, but also keeping the city vibe, it's just, it's pretty cool. So there's many coffee shops to work at on the island, they are digital nomad friendly. And this one, the couple, is one of my favorite because it's just in front of the beach. And they have like good Wi-Fi, great coffee, some pastries, and even breakfast and lunch. Like you can spend the whole day here. And when the weather is great, everyone is on the beach. Like you can see locals, foreigners, everyone just hanging out here. And this is why today uh, I'm meeting with another community called the Nomads Vibe, run by my friend Laura. For digital nomads and remote workers who come to Las Palmas and they want to have a good time. So we get together and uh, we have a really good vibe, nice community. Everybody's friends with everybody. Every event we organize, it's free. So you want to learn Spanish, you want to hang out in Canarias? Laura? That is the way. <laughs> so one of the main sport activities in Las Palmas is surfing because one of the bays just at the end in the area that's called Caesar, there's like a lot of good waves to actually surf and they have like tons of surf rentals, they also have classes so you can learn. This place is a little bit for uh, beginners and intermediate uh, level today. It seems to be like really good, good waves. Let's, let's see how it goes. This is the first time that I use a wetsuit. Like everywhere else in Mexico, there are places I don't use it, so it's a little bit restrictive to paddle. But it was fun. And after the surfing, I wanted to get something healthy and nutritious. So I got a smoothie bowl in this place called Organic Jungle. So I ended up having this one that is chocolate granola, peanut butter, coconut milk, vanilla, and even some Canarian banana. Look and at that. You can actually do some work too. I see some people with the laptop, but it's funny enough, they have a sign that says that don't, like, please don't work uh, here when we're in the busy times. And it looks like in Canaria they love to play volleyball. Like everyone, there's so many courts here. And there's this game I never knew about. This is called like beach tennis, something like that. You play every day volleyball here, no? Yeah, like not like in the beginning, definitely every day because it's very addicting. Almost every day, you yeah. know. It's just so fun and just watch the sunset. And after it gives that. you so much. Like it's yeah. such a nice community. It's, 
it's all like I don't awesome, know. man. Cool. Nice. One of the things that I like a lot about European cities like Las Palmas that there's so many tables that you can eat outside in the streets and I just came to this place called La Flecha and I'm gonna eat some of the Canarian food. This is what I was most looking forward. This is Canadian potatoes. It has this sauce called the mojo sauce. This is a combination of olive oil, like local pepper varieties, garlic, paprika, cumin and a lot of spices. This is a ropa vieja. It's like garbanzo beans and some meat on it. You know when the food is good when you finish the whole thing. Look at that. <laughs> So there were people that also have a co-working co here on the close to the Cantera speech and it's spacious, like t plenty of tables and Wi-Fi is really, really fast. You have your whole setup with the TV and the computer. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Mike took the big screen, <laughs> like yeah, that's, that's a big everywhere. one, like look at that, how's the, how's the writing? It's coming along, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be finished in like three days, I think. Oh nice. So I'm here with Nacho, <laughs> we met like uh, five years ago. And I will say that he's like the godfather of the digital nomads <laughs> in, in the Canary Islands. Las Palmas was organically becoming a very popular uh, uh, location for remote workers from all over the world and decided to start you know, advocating for, for this movement uh, by you know, organizing a, a yearly conference that we've been hosting for uh, six years in a row. Um, it started as Nomad City, now became the Re People Conference, but we started a network of co-living spaces and in general, what we say at Repeople is that we are creating an ecosystem. So creating an ecosystem for remote workers in the Canary Islands. So I just rented a car from the airport in a company called uh, Auto Racing. And I think it's a must in Gran Canaria because if you're gonna go to the other areas of the island, it will take you an hour or so. And if you take a bus, it will take you two or three. Now I'm driving to uh, Tejeda, which is the cool thing about driving in the islands. You're gonna find like small towns everywhere, you know? And this one's supposedly one of the cutest towns in the whole um, Spain, they say. So yeah, I'm excited to check it out. And it's definitely really nice. I like all these white houses and the view. And also after that, there's this famous rock um, called Roque Nublo. So I'm gonna try to check the sunset there. It has some cool footage for you. Here's the whole park and all the views that this area has. I'll see you soon. Today I'm going to a co-working coffee shop called Talleres Palermo and we're gonna do a nomad lease meetup so that's one that I made anyone can make them and this is a picture that I took from the event when you create an account on nomadlease.com you can create your own meetups and see who's going and also share some pictures along the way there was a manager Cecilia she shows around this was an old culture tree as you see it's very like special with the walls and everything this is all the common uh, space flexible seats and then you have your small piece of land that you can take care of and... Uh, yeah. Sonomalist.com is the best website to check the information of all the cities around the world to work remotely. If you go to Gran Canaria, you can check the score, digital nomad guide, pros and cons, and even some reviews of people who have been there. When you create your travel profile and set the days you're going, you can see who's the people who are around on the city that you are. And it's also very community-based. We have Slack or Discord channel for all the information and a channel just for the Canary Islands. And yeah, I gotta thank all the Nomadlist people who came. I gotta thank Nomadlist list.com they're a sponsor of my channel so thank you just go to normalist.com to create your own account but okay let's keep on checking las palmas Okay, here's a fun fact that I just found out recently. The Canary Islands doesn't come from the yellow bird named Canary. It actually comes from a Latin term that it says Insula Canaria, that it means Island of the Dogs. There's one, two, three, four. 
And you have the other four there. There are eight of them because there are actually eight islands on the Canary Islands. So it's pretty cool to see them. So Vigira is the old town of Las Palmas and it's such a different vibe. It's more uh, chill because you can walk in the nice cobblestone streets. There's a museum also that you can see uh, some of the history about Chris Christopher Columbus because they actually started somewhere around here in the Canary Islands. This is like the inside of the boats they took to get to uh, America. They got to the Canary Islands and they just went all the way and they found this island. It's just nice to see how Las Palmas used to be before the whole uh, Las Canteras, all the new areas, but it's really nice to check all the architecture around. So if you're more of an active person, there's these bikes that you can rent it's called Citicleta. They have an app, you can just unlock them. You can have it for an hour or as long as you want. They have so many stops around the city. It's pretty cool to take them. All right, so today I'm gonna spend the whole day working at a hotel, it's called Yum, and we're gonna meet other people that are part of a Slack community called Live It Up. It's a pretty active digital nomad community here in Las Palmas. I came initially for two months. The idea was also to come as a digital nomad. Yeah. And I think after a few weeks, I was like, I wanna stay here. And then I realized, yeah, I want to make the main hotspot, the main hub for digital nomads if they come to Las Palmas. Anything you want related to community of nomads, you can find it on Live It Up, right? Yeah, and I also really encourage other people to organize things because see that there's a lot of activities. Yeah. It's not just me. Awesome, that's it. So the roof of this hotel, we're gonna have a party with all the nomads. And yeah, it was a pretty cool event. So if you want to meet other cool people, just check the Live It Up Slack channel and go to one of these events. So 30 minutes away from Las Palmas, there's this small town called Terror. I'm gonna go check it out and do some hiking along the way. This looks a bit more like a, almost like a colonial uh, Spanish town. Y los churros? Uh, Perfect. Yeah. Muchas gracias. 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 Muchas gracias. All right. So this is the Spanish churros. Yeah. It's really nice. It seems easy, easy right? <laughs> Don't worry. The ambulance is on. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Is you boil it in water and it's a detox tea. Oh, nice. So, this is supposed to be one of the best things of Terror the chorizo with queso, right? It's a sandwich. Yeah. Is it good? Very good. It's not a no. typical chorizo, no? It doesn't feel like sausage. Gracias. Hey. fresh air. I'm, I'm just breathing fresh air here. Oh, 
Oh, that's good. I did the Barranco de Guayateque, and it was like a few hours in, like a thousand meters of elevation. And now I just ended up in this restaurant called La Era, just on the star of the hiking. All right, so I got local cheese. It was recommended. I got, of course, some potatoes. Canarian potatoes, I can't get enough of that. Also, look at the views of this restaurant. You can see the sea over there. It's so crazy, it's so nice. And there's this cute uh, souvenir shop in the form of a cave just behind the restaurants called Casa Cueva Canarias. If you want to buy any memories of Gran Canaria, this is your place. So my, my drone just broke the... I, I thought it was the arm, but it's the whole chassis. So I can displace Canarias stock, no? And they, they're gonna fix my whole drone. And I found this place in the south called Caracolillo Cafe. I got a coffee that I got roasted in Madrid. And it's just like ATPN beans. And the guy said that it's one of the best ones that they have. The place is actually pretty cool. Check the Wi-Fi really fast. I think it's a good spot to work to get some delicious coffee and uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let me show you this beautiful park very close to my colibin. Hey. Okay, going back to the drone store to see how it's my drone. Hope it's still alive. <laughs> I hope they repair it because I need it for my work. Te cambié este brazo, este brazo y este brazo, vale. Este es el único que no te cambié porque funcionaba bien. Just checking that it's still working. Bien, mal perfecto. Time for another road trip. Today, today we're going to Agaete, which is in the north of the island, northwest precisely. So the first stop was to the natural pool surrounding all this area. this one called Punta de Galdar. It's way way in the top of the island but it's so beautiful. I mean look at this. Just have it all by myself because I got here early morning and the water's a bit cold today. Nobody wants to jump so in. Beautiful. But the views, the chillness, and you have the sea just in front of you like the water or the sea comes. After I visited the valley taking a tour in the only coffee farm in Europe. This is strong coffee, but it's good. Next was to explore the cute and small Agaete downtown. So here in Agaete, there's a new colibian from Re People, and we're having a lunch just to check out the new place. There oh, we wow. go. Yes. You're Spanish, this is like common common for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Salud, salud. Salud. Cheers. Salud, salud. It used to be a hotel that we are converting into um, a co-living and retreat space uh, with 31 bedrooms, nice rooftop, nice uh, living room and, and chair kitchen in a village that, in my opinion, it's, it's one of the most authentic in Gran Canaria. So if you want to get a cool living outside of Las Palmas or more close to the nature, check this one in Agaete. So there's many things to do at night, but let me show you a few that nomads even happen every week. Every Thursday in the Ivex uh, rooftop, we just hang out and get some drinks and get to know other people and have a lot of fun. Lots of people come all the time. Hey, hey man, how you doing? How you doing? So every Tuesday, there's a bar called Bar San Remo and we gather everyone here at night. We just hang out, get some drinks, get to know other nomads. 
And after the bar, we go to Imaginario, which is like a karaoke place until 12. Like everybody, all the nomads come here, and anybody can choose a song. It's fun. in Gran Canara it's dunes there's some dunes in there of Mas Palomas in the south <laughs> we walk very early 6 a.m. and now I'm just walking oh and getting sand on my shoes now we're just watching the sunset it was so amazing yeah. it's only a bit the, the small oasis no, no. in front of us <laughs> and there's a beach in front of the dunes, it's called Playa del Inglés. It's such a massive, massive, uh, quiet beach, so nice. So there's the dunes, there's the beach and like a small town, but it's way different than Las Palmas. Very different. It feels more touristic to be honest. But uh, today, at least today, is such a good weather. We did a little bit of um, beach hopping on the way from Mas Palomas to Mogán, just all the south. This was Amadores, it's human made, but it's the, the colors are beautiful, so... Yeah, for Gran Canaria, it's a, it's a good beach. I know, like, girls, like, you know, love showering. And the last stop of this trip is this cute town called Mogán, especially their dock, it's called Puerto Mogán. There's a marina, there's like a lot of restaurants we're gonna eat somewhere over there. And it also has a beach. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's a vegetarian paella, right? Yeah. Oh, nice. I hope so. Nice, enjoy. How was the trip? Amazing! Was it? Perfect trip. I loved trip. it a lot. Yeah? Thanks, team. Thanks, family. Gracias, familia. Gracias. Now it's fun, it was fun. The sour is fun. Yeah, it's fun. Very divertido. Very divertido. <laughs> So, just, uh, yeah, I just got on the east side of the island, just below the airport, and it's a good area to dive. We're gonna go diving with my colibre Damiano. My body, ready. The water was a bit cold for me, but with the six millimeter like wetsuit, it was fine. You think uh, it's a good thing to do in Gran Canaria? Definitely, yes. Definitely. Yeah, with these guys with Zeus uh, dive center, <laughs> the instructor was so funny. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was fun. Hello, I'm opening my bakery, and uh, it's going to be a very high quality bakery with uh, only high quality ingredients. <laughs> Okay. And the one that I'm most excited is the macaroni. Like, who doesn't love macaroni? So, yeah, just check this uh, bakery. Are we gonna have something nice? We're gonna have mushrooms filled with a lot of stuff. Oh man. So, this is the last day for me here in the Colibin and in Las Palmas. So, just gathering with uh, the Colibers from all of the Colibins that we have. Just find a barbecue, saying goodbye. Cheers. Thank you for the time here. And in the mansion. Thanks for joining us. It was a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> I'm just walking in Playa Confital, which is the northest for the beach of Las Palmas. And it's a pretty quite nice one. It takes a little bit of a hike to get here. It's gonna be my last sunset of Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, but it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Hey, thank you for watching the video. I hope it was helpful and inspiring for you. 
So Gran Canaria is part of the Canary Islands. I'm going to show you where is it in the map. So we have the whole Europe here and all the way here, <laughs> just closer to Africa. That's where the Canary Islands are. There's like some direct flights that you can find, but usually you like land somewhere either in Lisbon or Madrid, and then you take a flight. It's like around two hours and a half or three hours and you get here. So we have all the islands and here it's Grand Canary. Usually arrive somewhere over here. Yeah, this is the airport. And then you take a bus to get to Las Palmas. The coolest thing about these uh, islands, precisely Grand Canary, is that most of the things are here in Las Palmas. All the things that I show you, it's, uh, it's uh, happening here. And then you can just take a car, take buses to go all around. And it's a very, very massive island. Like from Las Palmas to Mas Palomas, where we saw the dunes, it will take you around two hours or so to get there. So it's not, it's not that small. There's so many things to explore. It's a very, very massive island. But if you check the links in the description, there's a Google map link where I can give you all of the information of the best places that I uh, would recommend. Did not add everything on the video because it would be such a long video. Also for the Colivian that I stay, the name is Repeople. You can check their website. You can check all of the Colivians. I stay in the mansion, but they have a few, the Roof, the Artisan, Mozart, and even the new one all the way to Agaete. They're all beautiful. They have conferences, so it depends where you're gonna be there, but check their websites because they're always having some cool events. And this is a summary of how much I spent for the whole month, including the Colivian, the, some fun activities like the diving, the surf. I mean, you can spend more and more if you go surfing every single day, but information around two thousand two hundred dollars or euros which is right now it's one one so that's the easiest way to make the currency conversion but yeah and lastly you have Gran Canaria but also other islands around it just takes a few hours and by ferry you have Tenerife you have Fuerteventura Lanzarote and even the small ones like there's so many things to explore I'm gonna make a video for most of these islands so just check the links also for that anyway that's the whole video I hope you liked it if you do put a like give it a comment let me know what you think about the video and don't forget to subscribe to nomadlist.com because they're gonna help me make more videos for you all right see you in the next one ciao